Uh, the best benchmark. Here's my problems with the benchmarks. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I, like I, brought, I was talking some crap on some benchmarks, so I broke out this bonded. Um, I don't, this does not taste good anymore. This is not that old of a bottle. It's, it's months old. This is a few months old. But the problem I have with these benchmarks is these are the worst tops. Like I'm okay with screw tops. Just use a plastic screw top or a thick metal screw top. This one, I squished it down to try to get it to stay on there, but I'm pretty sure this thing is just oxidized because the top just does not tighten. And so I, I'm just a little, that's the only thing I don't like. These are fantastic other than they probably have the worst top on the market. So I don't know which is the favorite one. I was trying to figure that out out of the ones I own, but that one's oxidized. I couldn't even try. Oh, the Jack Single Barrel Barrel Strength Rye is fantastic. That's the limited edition they released is one of my, it's actually probably my favorite rye. Um, the Single Barrel Barrel Strength, I've got it in the back. It's like, it's not to that level, but it is really, really delicious. Ah, uh, do you think about Rebel 100? Is it a decent bourbon? It's about $35 after I check. Yeah, Rebel 100 is pretty good. We've got a video coming out where I, I have a Rebel 100 from the 1960s. I have a current Rebel 100. We're going to blind those and try them. I have an old Fitzgerald from the 1970s and a modern old Fitzgerald. We're going to blind those and try them. I have an old Forester from the 1980s and a modern old Forester. So we're going to do a video of is older whiskey better? And we're gonna, I'm gonna drink a lot of that Rebel 100 at that point. Any thoughts on the 2023 20, Maker's Mark, the blue label? That's the BEP, um, I believe. I had one, I liked it, I thought it was pretty good. Um, we had our little bourbon group come in and Russell in our bourbon group absolutely loved it. And so I just kind of let him adopt it and take it home with him. And I wished I had it to try it right now because I did like it. I love the, the previous wood finishing series I like that one. It wasn't, I didn't like it as much as the FAE 01 or 02, but it was good, but now it's gone. So I abandoned it and it's been adopted. What is the glass top Blanton's? Oh, it's, none of them are glass top. Are you talking about this one over here? This one just, it just has plastic around it. Like these got shipped to me. Um, and so I just haven't, I hadn't pulled all the plastic off. I just threw them on the shelf. This is a Takara Black. So this is a Japanese, I believe, only release. It's definitely an overseas release of Blanton's. I think it's a 700 milliliter bottle. Um, and this one is at 80 proof. And then we just tried this one, which is the Takara Red, which is like two years older than a normal Blanton's. Also uh, a release from overseas.